Welcome to the second part of the tutorial for door triggers. First of all we're going to load the previous level we worked on which we saved as door trigger and then when this is loaded all we need to do is add another trigger zone inside the door in the red room so we can uh, make that one trigger the door to close. So we place the trigger zone, go into the properties and name it uh, door close trigger. This time we're going to copy the existing script we had in the user door trigger directory and create one called door close trigger. So we'll copy that and rename it. The way that the door script itself works is if it gets an activated equals 1 it will open. If it gets an activated equals 0 it will close. So we'll change the activate if used to show that it will close it. So set it to 0. And now we have to make sure the trigger has the door 1 in its if used section. So we'll add that here now. and just save the level. Now we'll try and build and run it. Right, we'll click OK and start the level. We'll go and open the door via the trigger we already used. Now we'll do the same trick, we'll reverse through the door so we can see it closing. There you go, that door is now permanently closed unless you create another trigger zone or switch or something else that will actually open it. This is a good way of causing uh, players to get locked into a room.